Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about what makes one whole fraction and how you can tell that a fraction is a whole by looking at its numerator and denominator. A fraction describes how an object is partitioned or divided into equal parts. Fractions are written as numerator over denominator, where the numerator represents the parts indicated or parts that are shaded or not shaded and the denominator represents the total equal parts a shape or figure has been partitioned or divided into. Let's look at an example. This is one whole pizza. Whole means entire or all. Now let's say we cut the pizza into eight slices. I will put eight in the denominator because my pizza has been cut into a total of eight slices. If I eat one slice of pizza, I have eaten one out of eight slices or one eighth. Let's say I eat another slice of pizza. Now I have eaten two out of eight slices of pizza or two eighths. Let's say I'm still hungry and I eat another slice of pizza. Now I have eaten three out of eight slices or three eighths. If I keep eating pizza, I will have eaten four out of eight slices or four eighths. Let's say I eat, still eat another slice of pizza. Now I have eaten five out of eight slices or five eighths. If I eat another slice, I have eaten six out of eight slices of pizza or six eighths. Let's say I eat another slice of pizza. Now I have eaten seven out of eight slices, or seven eighths. And if I eat the last slice of pizza, now I have eaten eight out of eight slices of pizza, or eight eighths. How much did I eat? Well, I ate the whole pizza. I know I ate the entire pizza because there are no slices left. Now, let's look at the fraction. Notice that the numerator and the denominator are the same. When the numerator and the denominator are the same, it represents one whole. Let's look at another example. I have a figure here that has been partitioned into six equal parts. Since it has been partitioned into six equal parts, the number six goes in the denominator. Let's say I shade one part of the figure. I have shaded one out of six parts, or one six. If I shade another part, I have now shaded two out of six parts, or two six. If I continue to shade, now I have shaded three out of six parts, or three six. If I shade another part of my figure, now I have shaded four out of six parts, or four six. If I shade another part of the figure, I have shaded five out of six parts, or five six. And let's say I shade the last part of the figure. Now I have shaded six out of six parts, or one six. Again, notice that the numerator and the denominator are the same. Since they are the same, I have shaded one whole piece, as you can see by the figure. What fraction equals one whole? Remember that whole means all or the entire figure. In this case, the entire figure is the octagon. To get the fraction that equals one whole, I will start by counting the number of equal parts. There are one, two, three, four equal parts, so the number four goes in the denominator because it represents the number of parts the shape has been partitioned or divided into. Next, I'm going to shade or color in the parts until I have shaded one whole. If I shade one part, did I color in the whole or all of the shape? No, I didn't. So I'm going to keep shading and counting. One, two, three, four. I had to shade four parts to cover the entire or the whole shape. So the number four is the numerator because it represents the number of parts I shaded. Now, if you look at the numerator and denominator, the numbers are the same. When this happens, I know that I have one whole. 
What fraction equals one whole? Remember whole means entire or all, which in this case is the entire triangle. To figure out the fraction of the whole triangle, we are first going to start by counting the number of equal parts the triangle has been partitioned or divided into. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since this triangle has been partitioned into six parts, this number goes in the denominator. Remember, the denominator represents the total number of parts or figure a shape has been partitioned or divided into. Now we are going to shade each part until the whole triangle is shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six. The number six goes in my numerator because I had to shade six parts to color in the entire triangle. Now, if we look at the numerator and the denominator, they are both the same. So when the numerator and the denominator are the same numbers, it equals two, one whole. Today we learned that when the numerator and denominator are the same numbers, the fraction equals to one whole. Thanks everyone and have a wonderful day.